Welcome to the vlog today. Today we are going to Hillsborough River State Park. We actually just pulled in. We're going to be going through and showing you guys what there is to offer here in this park. For all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't. There is an entrance fee to get into the park So it is a $6 entrance fee And they give you this ticket Which you have to put on your windshield And that way you can park without getting towed or removed And then I did ask him for a map So make sure if it's your first time to ask for a map So it comes with a front side and a back side We currently are at parking lot 2 because it seems to be closer to the two easier hiking trails. And since it's our first time here, we figured let's just start out doing the easier ones. So we're gonna do Rapids Trail, which is 1.2 miles, and then Baynard's Trail, which is 1.1 miles and has a suspension bridge. So we'll go ahead and show you guys that. currently doing the river walk which is right off parking lot two if you guys are curious where it's at and just like the name implies it was a walk along the river so it's literally a path that follows the river all the way down which is really cool because the water here is actually very clear you can see all the way down to the bottom and see all the different types of fish we've already seen some turtles hopefully some gators we're waiting on that but it's actually a very cool walk and it's not too long or difficult. It's only one mile, so pretty much anyone can do it. It's also very shaded, so that way you're not really walking in the Florida sun, which can be absolutely devastating. But do make sure to bring some water. I have a camel back with water. That way you don't get dehydrated. I can already kind of hear the sound of the river, but so far there's not a lot of people here, which is nice. And it is a Saturday, so you would expect there to be a lot of people. Uh, beautiful it's very Florida nature like if you are from Florida you know what I'm talking about it's really peaceful and beautiful here I'm enjoying it that's really cool about this park is that it's actually the only place in florida that has class two rapids obviously here in florida we're a pretty flat state so we don't typically have a lot of rapids so it's cool the video i just showed you guys of the rapids is the only level two rapids here in florida and it's very close to tampa which is very convenient They also have a suspension bridge here, which is pretty cool. It goes across and again, look how empty it is. But this goes from Rapids Trail to Baynard Trail, which is 1.1 miles. This isn't by the river so much, but goes in through the woods and then loops back around. So it is kind of a big circle. That's what we're going to do now. The other one was super, super easy. It's a really easy, beautiful walk.
So, so far we've seen a lot of butterflies, fireflies, lizards, and a lot of birds and things like that. So far, no alligators, which I'm kind of sad about. I want to see an alligator. Even though I'm from Florida, I see them all the time. It'd just be cool to see one here since I came specifically for them. But again, super, super peaceful and quiet out here. If you're looking for just a nice, easy hike in the wilderness, I definitely recommend this one. just sat down on one of the benches they have benches all along the roots everywhere so you can go ahead and sit down i brought my book because yes i'm obsessed with reading so i'm gonna go ahead and read a few pages because it is so peaceful and quiet right here like there's not any places in tampa where you can go and you don't hear the hustle and bustle of city life so i'm gonna go ahead and read there's literally an alligator right there it's the first one we've seen First alligator, it's actually kind of big too. I would say it's maybe six feet by my professional calculations. They also have a poolside cafe and gift shop and here they also do rentals so you can rent a kayak here it says tandem $40 single kayak $30 canoe $40 so you can go ahead and rent equipment and then they do have a pool which is closed right now but I'll show you what it looks like so it does look like there's something going on with the pool right now but it's actually pretty big I didn't even know that they had a pool until we came here so that's a pretty good amenity if you are coming here when it is open. And this concession stand is at parking lot D. So if you are looking for the pool concession, it is at parking lot D. It's very simple. It's literally a straight road that only lets you go one way so you can't miss it. Alrighty, we are back in the car after probably around like four or five miles, but we did just walk around quite a bit. We did hang out and we finally saw an alligator, which was cool. It actually swam around a little bit for us. It's always weird seeing an alligator, even though you've seen one a million times, because they're literally living dinosaurs, which is just the coolest thing in the world. A kayaker swam by while he was going and he turned around towards them actually, which was pretty crazy. Overall, I would say if you're looking to come here, I definitely recommend the trails that are along the riverside. That way you actually get a chance to see a lot of cool nature. When we were in more of the like forested area, there weren't a lot of animals per se or larger land animals there was a lot of bugs and things like that still really cool though and they have a ton of different trail options here there's like four or five depending if you want a longer or a shorter hike which is cool but that is everybody i hope you enjoyed this video see you later alligator